I'm running a little bit late. The directions are a little bit gross getting here, but uh, wait, sir, what do you mean the right directions now? were gross? They were super easy to follow. Yeah. Wait, where are you? I'm. I'm in Italy. <laughs> Indy! You were supposed to go to Indy. What? Indianapolis. Oh, that explains so much. Okay. Um, don't worry. I'll hop a flight. Uh, I'll be there first thing tomorrow. The con's only an hour long. What do you mean only an hour? I mean it's only an hour because bless you. Thank you. It's only an hour because that's all the time I all can right. get. Um, oh my god. Um, don't worry. I've got, don't an worry. Idea. I got an idea. Oh, I don't like when he says it. Well, I'm sure we'll never see him again. <laughs> Friends, enemies, traitors to the state, welcome to FurCon. I officially declare this convention open. Welcome to Who's Fur Is It Anyway? My name's Fur, and I'm going to be introducing you to our wonderful uh, assortment of improv games, improv choices, and other weird things. Who the fuck put that table down? All right, so if you're familiar with the concept of uh, Who's Fur Is It Anyway, you know this is an improv game. It's also audience participation. So who wants to be in our first, uh, who wants to be in our first game? Please raise your hands. Everyone has a hand raised up. Come up, stand in front of this row. The first game we're going to be playing is a improv classic called World, oh sorry, Scenes from a Hat. I don't have a hat on, so I'm going to use my tablet. You don't have a hat on. I do not have a hat on. Okay. <laughs> hat. No, I don't want a hat. These are pre-scripted anyway. Yeah. All right. So, what is Scenes from a Hat? Scenes from the hat. I'm going to yell out a scene, and they're going to perform. Uh, they're going to perform uh, a little skip based on it. Please keep it under a few seconds. Also, remember, this is a PG-13 panel. Uh, there's only one F word allowed, and I already used it. <laughs> All right. Scenes from the hat. Weird things to get turned on by. Go. <laughs> Let's step forward. A light bulb. True. Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, welcome to FurCon. <laughs> hey, you do. Fish. A dimensional warp. A fish. I'm an asexual, so if I get turned on by anything, trail off sentence here. All right, last one. The fall of the Indiana government. Woo! True. All right, next one. Unlikely cartoon characters to cameo in an adult film. Bluey. Give me the new. Number one. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Thing one and thing two. All right, last one. Princess Celestia. Oh. All right, last scene from a half. Conventions you don't want to be invited to. Furcon. I knew it. Basement con. Project the Gathering. I don't know if this comes with PG-13, but rainforest. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, both the night of your guest of honor of BronyCon 2023, Fur! <laughs> I deserve this hell. Last one. Crancon. Oh, all right, everyone, please give our performers a large round of applause. Status, you stay up. Iggy, you stay up. Uh, Silas, you get up here. Uh, yeah, all of you three, please, uh, please get on these chairs right up here. Okay. I need someone who is good at improv. I need someone who I really enjoy. Hey, guess what? Our previous guest of honor. Hi, what's your name? Cashy. Cashy? Oh, nice. So, Cashy, are you familiar with the dating game? No. Okay, well, what happens is these three people on these stage are going to be your wonderful uh, brides to be. All right, so. You can just step outside real quick. 
So the point of dating game is uh, Kashi over there has to decide on, uh, has tried to figure out what the uh, personality traits of these three people are. So let's get some suggestions. Who is, uh, what is silence? What's a, what's a party, what's a quirk about it? What's something that someone can get? Someone give me something. They're alkali. Okay, we got alkali. All right, and what is Iggy? Someone give me an example for something. something Einstein. Else. Give me like a quirk. Like we can't just have celebrities. Wait, alkali. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iggy, you are slowly shrinking. And status? Anyone got one for status? Paranoid. Oh, I... About crayons. Paranoid about crayons. <laughs> you are just, you're just paranoid that uh, someone's going to hand you a crayon. No, but what's my quirk? <laughs> uh, All right, Kashi, where are you at? Uh, contestant number one, if we were... Sit down, sir! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So, contestant number one. If we were to go to a beach, which beach would we go to? I don't know! How much weed is there? <laughs> uh, contestant number two. If we were to go to a uh, rainforest, which one would we go to? Well, just seeing the forest through the trees. Seeing, seeing, seeing. You know, it's very nice. Can you kind of come with me? You make me feel a little bit comfortable, and you make me feel very, very comfortable. It's those damn cataracts again. Um, wow, well, okay. Uh, contestant number three, if you would, in, if you were invited to a, a convention, would it be FurCon? You know, I, I don't know if it would be FurCon, because there's a lot of people there, and a lot of them are uh, also carrying things that I don't want, and I've got enough of, so please stop handing them to me. <laughs> you deserve all the crayons you have. <laughs> Not. I do not deserve this help. Okay. You don't have any, do you? I already gave you the uh, couple of crayons that I have. What's your guess? What? What is status is uh, status? Oh, status? Okay, so that's what it is. You didn't explain the name of like, the game to me. I actually have never played this before. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so status is supposed to be uh, someone with uh, severe social anxiety. Right, but well, what's my question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having social anxiety. Um, When first said that I was good at improv, it's best if you guys have like really low standards, and then you might have a good time. So I don't know. So Iggy has uh, maybe went to LASIK and wants to tell everyone about it, but actually it failed. Is everything getting a little myopic in here? I don't know. What that means. <laughs> Iggy, I know that you're actually blind. Uh, you just really like me. I don't like being next to you anymore. I'm going to go over here where it feels a little bit more comfortable. I don't understand. Oh my god, why are you so far gone now? What are you talking about? You're someone super nearsighted? So very nearsighted. So why are you on the floor? I'm on the floor? I've always been on the floor. Wait, why is everything so far away? Are you still getting smaller and smaller? Yay! Um, you uh, you just really want one? You're out the like crap! Alkali, that's what it was. Yeah, like, yeah what am I thinking? Well, so you didn't say anything about alcohol. Um, wow. Status, I have no idea. Uh, Status, where would we go for the shortest walk? For the shortest walk? The shortest walk. Um, for the shortest walk, we would go to uh, probably like that speaker is probably about the fewest amount of steps that we could take. And I think it's nice and safe away from the audience, the people who have been handing me crayons all weekend. Okay, okay. So uh, yes. your quirk is that you don't, I don't, you don't want to be with the audience. You want to be like backstage. You want to stay away from people. You're very close. Uh, for, uh, you don't want to get COVID. <laughs> you mind if I just kind of smoke one up right now? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go 